Hey guys, this is Jinx and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. So, some of you guys have been asking me questions regarding to team building like who can I who should I use in my team? Who should I pick for my side character? How do I use my supporting How do you use who do you put for your supporting characters? Whether I should go for full element or type bonus or etc so in this video i'll just kind of showcase showcase like what do i do when i want to build a character uh, a team uh. so without further ado let's just jump into it so step one will be understanding like what are the different types of team you can build okay so before you even go to enhancing your team you have to decide whether number one how do you want to run your team like uh and how how to help you to answer that is basically it depends on your play style too are you the type where you just want to go around waking people killing stuff then maybe you can go for some attack attackers build uh i'll call that attackers combo or you like to just run around like doing being an annoyance and just capturing flags while they are not looking at you so that will probably be uh, runners will be your favorite or you just like to be a team player and like want to help recharge the treasure gold gauge to the max so that enemies take forever just to capture it then occasionally fighting etc yeah so without further ado let's just go jump into it and okay the first kind of build okay let's just talk about the main two characters so the first spot the first battle character and second battle character you can basically choose them when you uh, enter the match so what you can do is you can see the enemy like what type of characters they have watch which elements do they have then you choose a countering element so one, the first build that I'll say is basically the uh, kind of say the countering build because what you usually you want to do is you want to put your better character 1 and 2 to be of different elements so example will be the okay let's say I want to build I want to play Sabo okay let's just ignore that okay so Sabo is a blue character so like you gotta think about what's gonna let's say uh you want to put someone of different element so one way to help you is basically to choose what counters your character so what i mean is let's say i play count uh sabo so the only reason that i will die very very heavily is most likely because of the type advantage so to counter sabo enemy will probably run green characters so what what do I need to do is that's when like if I die I want to swap to something to counter them so that's where you choose your second char character as maybe uh, a Kainu because okay, okay not a Kainu but generally a red character so because the fact that let's say I the character I'm using Sabo then the enemy chooses Moria and I get Oh, uh, I got I got destroyed pretty badly because blue counters uh, uh green counters blue. So the Moria will still probably be alive, and I wanna go to a Kainu immediately when I respawn and just whack the people. So yeah, and okay, this is generally quite effective. But do take note that if you put two gacha characters, right? Two yeah, two gacha characters your part party power is pretty pretty high so yeah most likely you'll be paired with like people higher power than you and like six stars etc okay so that's number one the basically the countering build the number two one is a bit of the like some people don't really like it because like uh as I said just now, if you put two gacha characters right, your party power will be very 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 high. So what you 
can do in this second option is to use a very very low level character so it will significantly reduce your power level a lot and you won't be placed against insane whales that has like crazy power level so as you can see my power level party power now is 31,000 so let me try uh, putting some a uh, level 1 character instead let's see this Vivi and yeah uh, my power reduced by 10,000 and it's actually I'm not sure how the matchmaking works because uh, most of the some of the time when I see people run this or something usually they put like what one six star character and this so their party power will be like pretty uh, it's about the same as you putting two gacha five star character maxed out etc so yeah uh, some people will call this abusing the system but I mean why risk fighting more six stars when you can stay low and fight with someone of your evil even level and also besides fighting of your even uh reducing the power level you can always uh you you also have a chance to be placed in lower tier battles so some enemies might be only using four stars so that's why they say abusing the system but i mean is your game why not just do whatever you want with it okay so this is the second build that i want to talk about uh the bad thing about it is if your main character dies right you have to wait quite a while for it to revive again before you can use that same character because your side character is pretty much trash and yeah so the only time you actually want to use this technique right and okay let's say uh let me give you a tip if you want to use this technique is to uh for your side character right use a runner then maybe use some capture the uh capture the flag combos so as you know the famous uh fishman combo and also the hawk hawk okay, the falcon falcon medal so you can equip them so that maybe last minute you really really cannot wait for your main character to respawn again you use them use this side character and pray that he will not encounter any enemy and go and capture the flag okay so yeah that's for the second type so the third type will be the uh main character plus a runner build so this is actually a very very common uh build because of how um, efficient it was so as you know last time Usopp had a uh, increase in capture speed when the time is getting low which makes him pretty 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 damn top tier so but they nerfed it and yeah he they removed the trade for him so he's not as good uh, but it's still kind of useful so what you want to put is basically runners at the back so that uh, you can still take advantage of the falcon medals is not as effective as it is like okay Usopp is not as crazy as this compared to last time but still he still captures the flag pretty fast and he might save you in some uh, tight situations like this uh, using this medal so you can put two or three but do take note that there's a limitation of 40 percent i think yeah let me check um yeah increase capture speed is 40% so 18 18 36 that's pretty much what you want to do and this medal's unique trait is pretty good because when there's 45 seconds or less boost capture speed by 18% when you stack two of it it's 36% and runners they have a pretty a, a faster than normal capture speed so this will definitely help them plus if you use or maybe if you don't want to use you don't have this falcon medal you can use the uh like three com three bat man medal combos such as the fishman combo so or the grand line combo i think yeah so with all that you can get extra 20 percent capture speed which is also not so bad so once your main character dies you swap this to play the flag battle and 
yeah I think that's it for this second build so the I think usually uh but I want to introduce a fourth build that is I won't say it's as effective because I think it's mostly for Brawl 8 which is the new battle event so what it does is actually you put uh when you build your character right you build usually put in as elements as similar to, to your main character as possible so this build is basically the putting the same color so it works for Brawl 8 because both of your characters will get significant power boost and Brawl 8 usually you will die I think at least once and you can sort off the next character and become pretty powerful but I don't think it is so relevant towards the treasure capture the flag because um, let's say you are already because of the countering element thing let's say I'm putting Sabo then there's a Moria out there then my second character is actually uh, Kruby then you're still gonna get wrecked most likely because it's Moria and or as a or example Law or Skypea Zoro so yeah do take note of that um, okay I think that's it for the party builds and if you do not know by now these are the element counters so red green blue red to green green to blue blue to red so yeah so the attackers have usually have very very good attack just purely attack and with like normal increased treasure gauge etc so defenders they excel in holding the flag so they have pretty good uh, traits that lets them to reduce damage basically traits that help them defend the flag better and yeah and when you are ho uh, doing nothing on the flag it boosts the treasure gauge faster if you are a defender and lastly will be the runners which is basically their purpose will mostly be to capture the flag because of your increase of capture speed and that's it okay so let's say okay I'm going for the first build that I'm talking about so I would say the uh, I want to use where's my Akainu hmm okay I want to use Sabo Akainu so this is then uh, next I'm gonna talk about is the support character so as you know support characters when you use group characters you get extra uh, if you put the same element character you get extra percentage etc but uh, recently they added the new type effect thing where there is a few pretty decent types that you can take note of so the first one will be the east blue so the so basically what it, this east blue means is because you only have two characters to run for your team right let's say uh let's say you have blue and red character so if you fight another blue character right okay let's say i'm using sabo and as my main character is on the field right now so if it's a sabo right like i'm fighting if i'm fighting another blue character i then which means i need a green character but i don't have any green character because i'm using a kainu and sabo so this is where this uh, trait comes this type effect is pretty good so at level 600 so this 600 means that you need characters and their levels stack up to a total of 600 so basically you am to get a trait like that you need six characters at level 100 with this east blue trait and yeah there is a significant difference between level 4 and level 5 trait as you can see the level 4 trait is 15 increase 15 percent damage to the same element enemies when your H, your strength is lower so usually tier 4 is a bit is significantly lower than uh, the tier 5 state stats so as you can see here at level 4 you can only you need a condition to activate that 15 percent by level 5 you can just do extra 15 damage to the same element which is very very good as an attacker build so okay next will be the attacker so as you can see it's the same concept 
But the thing is, at level 4, you will increase your attack by 80 only and your crit damage by 3%. But as you can see, it's 10, wait, is it? Yeah, 10, 20, 40, 80. But you see the level 4 and level 5, the gap increased by quite a bit. So obviously, you wait, if you want to go for a specific type effect, you should try to aim for the, the, the level 5 of the type if type effect okay so you can see what whichever character is effect is available to and plan out your team next one i would say is decent is the okay so let, let me just go through some okay straw hat pirates is reduce crit damage by 30 percent um this trait is good but it's not this type of effect is good but i'm not sure it's that significant yet okay okay so next one will be the captain so when your strength is less than 50 percent 100 percent chance of preventing stagger from projectile combos and when your strength is less than 30 percent reduce damage received by projectile combos so the reason why i don't really like this type of skill is a uh, trait uh, type effect is is useless unless you reduce your HP to 50 or 30 percent and it's I prefer anything that maybe instead of less than is more than so where you have more HP you will do more stuff so yeah the this trait bleh this type effect is also not as recommended so the next one will be this one the runner the runner will be is pretty okay like you get an extra of uh, 800 HP, which is very nice for the, which is very recommended for the characters like Moria, etc., where they are freaking tanky. So, and also when you increase, when you capture the treasure, you increase treasure gauge amount by 30%. So, I don't, a bit curious about this ability is because it's a runner pack right but you get defensive uh abilities it's, i'm not saying it's bad it's pretty pretty good for if you want to go for a defender build and yeah do consider this if you want to go for a defender build so next will be paramecia paramecia is yeah increase crit damage when your strength is less than 50 percent i don't really like this type of uh conditional types okay next one will be defender okay defender will be increased defense by eight 200 and also uh, increase treasure gauge amount by 10 percent uh this one is good but it's also one of the good ones so but i heard that the hp is more is uh much more important it's much better than defense because of how it scales with your uh, percentage and yeah, it's what it's actually kind of what makes a character more tanky. So somehow it's true, it's better. So next will be what? Grand line. Grand line is reduce any damage received from enemies with the same element by 15%. Okay, this is uh kind of like the opposite of East Blue and very very nice to if you want to go for a defender's build. Next will be Fishman. It, when the area around your enemy's treasure reduce knockback distance, uh, this is trash. Uh, Logia, Logia. So when your strength is more than 50%, 100% to prevent stagger from projectile combos. Uh, I think this is actually the projectile combos, I think it mean by the maybe Sky Pierce, Zoro's attack, etc, etc. This is actually pretty good, but whether you should use it, actually it's pretty... Okay, it's good, it's good. But, like, for characters like a Kainu, right? When you cast a skill 2, people can easily cancel it by using one hit. So, while it's good against the projectile characters, because Skypeer Zero is kind of annoying, it's not as good. It doesn't work on melee characters. So, yeah, do take note of that. Navy. Um... When the area around your captured treasure reduce knockback distance by 
I would say it's not that important. Newer. Ooh. Oh, the newer one doesn't work because when your strength is less than 50%, increased damage to enemies you are weak against by. Actually, this uh, newer, right? I can foresee it being a pretty decent one, but like I said, there's the condition and it's less than 50%, so a bit meh. But the con uh, the when your condition is activated, right, the ability is actually pretty, pretty good. But let's see, confirm there will be another one that is opposite of this. So instead of less than 50%, it will be more than 50%. So yeah. Uh, okay, that's it for the, I think, character effects. So, let's say I'm building, building this Sabo and Akainu combo. I And I told you guys that. Okay, so some people might ask me, is it better to go for full red color combo? Red color uh, units or for your supporting characters? Because if you look at my last time's video, right, I go for like maybe uh, full elemental color to get more uh, percentage as you can see here now it's 110.5% so the bad thing about doing that is okay essentially what you want is the same element plus max uh, character type effect so at the moment I don't think it's possible un unless you will like crazy but yeah so I would say that I did some uh, calculations I think and I realized that the the percentage right basically the if you go if you're gonna do the full attack full blue color for my sabo right it is better if the sabo has like it's like six star where his stats is a lot that's where the percentage will do much better but for like five star four star characters right it'll be much better if you can just give add that extra 200 stat and uh five percent crit damage because it's more a bit more stats than the uh percentage one um but another thing is basically let's say you are going for the type effect build because you are getting less percentage your HP kind of will be lesser, your defense will kind of be lesser, your crit chance is also a bit lesser. So do take note of that. It's like a trade-off whether you want to go for full attack or um a more balanced build, I would say. But more towards also got the attacks. Okay, so for me, I personally prefer the character type effect ones. So now I'm gonna show you a build that has the uh, East Blue and Attackers for my team so as you, if you want to find out which character has the East Blue besides using clicking on the trait you can ch check individually through here which some people might ask me uh, basically the character one besides the 2 3D the button so as okay here there's the East Blue so I have a level 100 East Blue already I think Sanji is East Blue too and attacker so Sanji is a pretty pretty good option for me to put here so I'm kind of missing the attackers so obviously I need to change out one character to put attackers hmm okay maybe I'll take out the eh what happened okay so I, I'm gonna take out the Uso. So even though it's the same character, now that I now I have full East Blue and Attacker. So next is I wanna take out whatever I can without affecting too much on the without interrupt disrupting the type effect. So I still wanna maintain that 600 level 600 for Attacker, level 600 for the East Blue. So let me see that who else can I take out? Like, if I want to increase my Sabo, I should use Kaya. Mm. So maybe I can, what I can do is, I'll swap Chopper and uh, Usopp. So, reason being is, 
I want to be more balanced like as you can see my percentage wise Akainu gets mostly of the stats because there's more red characters than the blue characters out there okay so let me just put the filter extra trade one two three okay so yeah as you can see uh tabo got a little bit more boost oh yeah and i haven't put a medal for this kaya yet damn she's gonna get into six stars soon and it's so sad <laughs> like ooh. like kind of want her to be like i i can't I kind of do want Smoker and Kaya to be my first six star characters. Like I'm sure how I'm sure you know how I feel because like what the hell? I play so much and you give me these kind of trash characters as six stars. Okay, I'm not saying Smoker is bad. Smoker is pretty okay as a character. Okay, so as you can see now my stats are a bit more balanced. I get a uh, one one four point nine. Okay, not so bad. I think to increase that, what I can do is. Uh, I need to put in a better medals so that I can get more stats. Okay, should this one should be good. Okay, remove this from Mihawk. Anyone else using medals? Okay, that one is most likely the that one is most likely the something else. Okay, two hawk. Okay, this one also trash. Any of my other characters that's using. Let me see. Okay, I'm think I think I'm good. Okay, so I will just go through my. If you still did not know by now, right? How to get more? How to get more per uh, percentage is to put as much of the good medals as you can for your characters. So. If you take a look, it was uh 114.9 for my sabo. So now if I see if I put the 27 instead of 26, supposedly I'm supposed to get more, but let's see. The if it's possible you put Yep, uh, I get another <laughs> 0 0.1 percentage. So you wanna put same set effects plus um basically higher stat uh, higher grade medals so if possible the dream combo will be all of your support characters using like what nine star medals but i know it's super hard but yeah uh like that is actually kind of uh i'm done for this build okay so basically is i just went through the a bit of the process on Okay, so both of my characters are using the attack build. So as you can see, I don't have a perfect. Mm. Actually, it's not that I don't have. Do I? Uh, because I don't have a perfect second set of attack build. Like this one, as you can see, there's no tech medals yet. I'm slowly working on. Like most of, I'm too lazy to transfer some traits to my medals. But I, I think let me just try to see if I can get I have any good medals. Okay, transfer trade. Okay, I have one. Attack. Nope. HP. Nope. 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 Okay, I should take note of the I think only the five ones are good one. Okay, attack. Okay, I just need one more. Nope. I don't have any more medals. Damn, my Shira Hoshi is so sad. I should have used my hammers on her. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's good, it's good. What other characters that I have? I'm actually trying to find a very, very good. Uh. Ooh. Okay, so uh, basically a tip to increase, like, get more medals that has higher grade is basically. Okay, you can, as you can see now, right? I have a lot of medals that has like 2, 1, 2 So 
is at 5 and is very low, right? So what you want to do is, example, let's say this one is 1, 2, 1, 3, 2. Okay, so I want to override the 1. So I'll pick a matter that has like, that I won't be using. Let me see. So generally all of the, okay, I don't want to use this matter is because I want to sell this type of metal so that I can get the silver thing but I don't think I will be needing it so hmm okay let me just put this okay so I will press transfer if I'm unlucky I'll get the one star if I'm lucky I'll get the either of the two star okay so yeah there I have a seven star metal and just do the same for the rest and Pretty much you can, this is how you want to do, increase your, your, all your supporting characters to have at least a 7 star, 6 star medal, etc. So most of the time right, events will have the event medals. So what you want to do is to just fully spam build, upgrade them and pretty much only touch them when you need to. Let me see. Like, I see this. Oh my god. Come on, just give me a 3 star. Sabo. Oh, nice. Defense. But I don't think I need it. Attack. Okay, it's meh. But I think this one is not. This 2 Ace and Sabo attack is actually not so bad. Because you see, when a crit occurs. Recover HP by 1% Uh, it may look like nothing right, but it's actually, I think, something Like, the more you crit right, the more If you, if you Like, it's If you think about it right, it's actually pretty easy to get a crit Like, you play one match right, most of the time you will have a You will crit by A few times Like, each fight So Let's say in one match, you will at least crit 20 times is it safe to say so? Uh, but yeah, that's just a not mad tech. So, his the traits for the new matters is uh, boost cooldown reduction of skill one. Not bad. Okay, skill two. When your allies are not near treasure you are at, you reduce damage by seven percent. This is actually pretty good because obviously you wanna have more survivability and you can put it for your attackers. So next will be Blood Brothers. Blood Brothers is actually a very very nice medal. But it kind of contra contradicts to the Chow medal because like this one is you need to be away from your allies. This is when your allies is near you deal more damage. And yeah the kit versions all have these type of medals. Like Luffy, Sabo, Ace. Uh, we'll have trio effect for all three, I think. Yeah. Let me check. Yep. So, it's a pretty nice combo because Sabo and Ace can go for full attack. Then, your Luffy can go... Let me think. Okay, all these traits, right? You can see it's only one. So, you'll confirm get a uh, attack. You'll confirm get a uh, defense. And you'll confirm get a uh, crit. So, you can always... Transfer away this medal And how to get Luffy medal is basically One way is to complete the story in normal mode Or you can exchange it in the cola Using colas in the exchange store Okay Okay, I think so far That's it for this uh, team building guide I hope it actually helped you guys Like I'm not too sure how, how useful it is but I just go through how how I usually build my team and whether I want to go for full attack, full defense, full HP. Just things to consider when you want to build this team. So that's it for this video. If you find that this useful uh, video is useful, please give it a like if it's actually useful. Lah. So I think that's it for this video. Uh, if you want to see more One Piece Bounty Rush content or Bleach Mobile 3D videos, Please consider subscribing to my channel for weekly content and I'll see you guys in the next one.